301. My husband is right there. And I stand before you today. I want to say thank you, uh, Chairman Wright. Ray. And thank you, Mayor, Madam Mayor. And I stand before you today as a daughter of God, an ambassador of Jesus Christ, a wife to Garnett Mwangi, and a mother in the making. <laughs> Six months ago, we moved here to Columbia to begin our dream family. We will have a homestead here soon, um, but in between that time, I'm here to talk on the topic of the contamination that is currently within the county. Previously, we discussed the possibility of contamination, and there is current contamination right now. So there's a claim going around that these gender grooming books will save lives. And there was a study done by Newport Academy with over 30 Five previous studies, the data is uh, all collected together. 2.4 million heterosexual sexual youth, 114,000 LGBTQ youth ages 12 to 24, and 10 con countries. All of these have been surveyed, and this is data from civilians. And the results are the following for the LGBT community teen suicide rates. LGBTQ youth were 3.5 times likely to attempt suicide as their hetero heterosexual peers. The rates of attempting suicide among trans teens are 5.87 times higher than the average among all teens. Gay and lesbian youth were 3.71 times more likely to attempt suicide, and bisexual youth were 3.69 times more likely to attempt suicide than teens who identified as hetero heterosexual. Statistics on substance abuse in the LGBTQ youth uh, show that there is a higher use of alcohol and drugs than the straight and the cis gender peers. This is not surprising given that substance abuse is typically a behavioral symptom of underlining depression, trauma, and anxiety. 75% of the LGBTQ community experience, and this is like the teenagers and kids, experience symptoms of anxiety. 61 experience depression um, among LGBTQ TQ community youth surveyed ages 13 to 24, 82 percent wanted mental health care in the past year. However, 60 percent of those youth were unable to access care. And finally, 50 percent of LGBTQ teens ages 13 to 17 seriously considered attempting suicide in the past year. I want to state that it is a spiritual issue. It's an inward issue. So when we debauch our bodies, thinking that we change our physical appearance, it will not change the underlying spiritual issue. So I'm here to ask you to represent God first and your country second. We are so honored to be a part of this county. I will be using the resource on a weekly basis. I will be homeschooling our children. We plan on having four. This is our first one in the womb. I will be homeschooling our children. I will be at the library on a weekly basis. I'm already very unwelcomed there. I can't even begin to share with you the sort of hate and propaganda that's been spread about me online just from some of the library workers. Stephanie, when I your time's up. Okay, when I spoke at the meeting. But Anyways, I'm just here to state the gender grooming books cannot be in this county. Perversion cannot be in this county. Family is the heart of society, and a united family is what makes up a society. So I just encourage you, fear God. May God be with us all.